Good morning, Colfax. I am CTV Director Kylie Powell. I am very excited to be in the air with you today and introduce a whole new generation of broadcasters to you, our Broadcasting Ones. They've been working hard to get the show on air far earlier than expected, and they have goals to produce a weekly show for the rest of the term. With that said, please welcome my co-anchor today, Juliana Masik. Thanks, Kylie. We're learning as fast as we can and are excited to get as many shows out as possible before the end of the term. We want to give a shout out to our live production director, Dom Herrera. We could not do this without the two of you. It's going to be a great season. On today's show, I get the chance to introduce our two foreign exchange students to, the, to our entire community. Reporter Scarlett Nightingale got to go behind the scenes of the fall play. And reporter Lucas Clark takes a look at the one night spooktacular Link Crew Haunted House. Welcome to the show. I can't believe it's already the end of October, and so much has happened in and around our campus, and so much more is right in front of us. I'm only a freshman, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but I'm having a great time so far. When I saw some of the senior parking art on Monday, I'm already looking forward to having my own spot and being able to drive. It's a good thing, Juliana. Thanks to the Evergreen Yearbook team and Jasmine Tamong, we have some pictures from the Sunday Senior Painting event. This is a good time to remind everybody that drives that the parking spots with the senior art on them are designated for that person only. If you park in one of those spots before second block, you will get a ticket. Some amazing art for a parking lot. And the seniors would like to thank Grace Clark and senior class advisor, Ms. Hammer, for making this event happen. The parking lot is not the only place that amazing art is going down. Last Friday night, October 21st, the Colfax Performing Arts Center opened its doors for the fall play and reporter Scarlett Nightingale got to talk to some of the cast members before taking in the show. This year for the Colfax High School Fall Play, the director, Miss Mitchum, and the Colfax student actors have decided to take their own twist on the classic works of William Shakespeare. The complete works of William Shakespeare abridged is their version consisting of 35 Shakespeare plays condensed into a 97 minute comedy. I would describe this play as um, a lot of fun, um, and uh, surprising. Uh, I think people hear, um, oh, the complete works of William Shakespeare, that sounds really boring, um, but it's, it's a ton of fun. Um, and it, it's just so funny. Um, and I think that people will be surprised by that. This is Miss Mitchum's first year directing a play here at Colfax. Fortunately, she had Miss Ortega and Miss Baruso to help work on props and a whole team of students working on sets and costumes as well. Not only did she have a reliable theater team and help from teachers, but a great group of actors this year. I am super excited about this group of actors. Um, I was really, really happy that we had so many students audition that we actually needed to do uh, two casts. Um, they bring their own sense of humor to the parts they play, which is a nice part about this play, um, is they really get to sort of um, put their personality in it um, in a way that you can't in other plays. My favorite part in working on this play is just meeting the new people I haven't gotten to work with yet, because you get, like we all get so close in the drama department because we spend so much time working together. So just, just the part of connecting with the other people working on it. There are lots of challenges when trying to produce a play, and this one was no exception. Creating this play could be considered extra difficult because there are two different casts instead of just one. Uh, time is always, always the enemy when you're making a play, so I would say that that is the uh, main challenge, um, especially having two different casts um, because that essentially cuts your rehearsal time in half. Uh, because you have to evenly um, share rehearsal time. Um, and so that is definitely a challenge, um, but everyone has stepped up to the challenge uh, and we're gonna have a really great show. Unlike fall plays from previous years, this play is meant to feel a bit unprofessional and like an improv act. One thing you don't expect when you come to live theater is audience participation. This show is unique because it's going to be interactive with the audience. So there's moments where we call people up on stage or we ask the audience questions directly. I'm just really excited for them to actually be involved in the show. 
it comes together really well, I think, because it's supposed to look, it's supposed to look kind of like an improv thing, but it's super well done. We've got all sorts of like cool props and fun jokes. It's just really fun to do, so. There are only two more chances for you to experience this unique play, so be sure to purchase your tickets for the last two nights on October 28th and the 29th. For CTV, I'm Scarlett Nangill. For camera ops and editors, Maggie Patterson and Juliana Masik, signing off. Juliana, I know you, you were running the camera at the show. What did you think? Well, I don't want to give away any more than the piece just did, but I can say this. This is a very entertaining and funny show. The audience participation, very entertaining. Great. It's on my calendar for Saturday, which is closing night. I'm looking forward to it. Next week, Senior News Director Shailen Ackerman will be in the studio to bring you a fall sports playoff preview. But until then, all eyes are on some of the biggest sporting events of the year this week. Yes, Kylie. Tonight, our girls volleyball team opens their playoff campaign as the 11th seed when they go on the road to face number 6, West Campus of Sacramento. The two teams met in the preseason with West getting the win, but Colfax has grown up so much winning four out of their last five matches, and tonight should be a great game. The cross-country team will make their bid for a Pioneer Valley League championship at Bear River on Wednesday, and we cap off the week Friday with the annual River Bowl. The River Bowl is the annual trophy game between Colfax and Bear River in football, in, in football, and both teams took identical league records in last Friday's games. However, the schools had dramatically different results. The Bruins fell to Wheatland, while the Falcons got both Kenny Goal and Malachi Thompson back from injury, and the two accounted for five of Colfax's six touchdowns, and a 42-21 win over 12 bridges. This Friday's game is huge, as we want to keep the trophy on our campus for a sixth straight year, in position for playoffs. The theme, in, the theme in the nest is camo, so gear up Colfax and let's take over the stands at Bear River. It's the last week in October, and that means Halloween is just around the corner. That is not lost on our Leak Crew program, Kylie. Nope. This Thursday, Link Crew is bringing back their annual haunted house, and reporter Lucas Clark spent some time with the team as they brewed up a spooky plan. Where I am right now is where Colfax's very own haunted house will return in about two days. We'll be waiting for you, Colfax. My, my hopes are always that we have a successful fundraiser, which we, we always have every year. We've, we've earned some kind of fundraising. Um, also, my biggest, my biggest hope for every haunted house is that my link leaders work together to pull off an event and have a sense of accomplishment and that they are proud of what they're doing together. The Link Crew Haunted House at Colfax High School has returned and they plan to make it better than ever. It started in 2017 and this is their sixth year of scaring the local community. Parents, don't be worried about bringing your children because there are multiple levels of scare at this haunted house. So the haunted house will have three levels of scare, one being um, possibly like lights on and just mellow kind of a, a, an experience and then a three is maximum scare, um, all of the things that might make you shake in your boots a little. Uh, you should come, it's super fun, it also helps a lot with the link crew. Um, we use the money to help with our other events that we do. So it benefits us and also benefits um, the community because it's a fun event. Their past haunted houses have been a huge success because of their iconic locations and amazingly spooky costumes. The haunted house has been run by the Frosh Connection team, the Link Crew, in the past, and this year is no different. Um, Link Crew is the the group of students that throws this haunted house. It's a fundraiser for our group of students. It's our only fundraiser. Um, it is run, students organize and decorate and do all the scaring and all the ticket sales. They do every part of it. I just kind of oversee everything that happens. So it's all Link Crew. Miss Ortega and her Link Crew have been working extra hard to get this haunted house open on time and still make it as spooky as possible. They work in flex and during class. Our audience is high school students, Colfax students, um, any sixth through eighth grade students in the community. We do have younger kids that come with their parents, which is absolutely fine. We will not turn them away, so long as they're prepared for a haunted house. Um, and anybody, honestly, in the community that wants to come, but our target audience really is students sixth through twelfth grade. 
Don't forget, on October 27th, Colfax will be hosting their very own haunted house. $3 for one ticket, $5 for two tickets. See you there, Colfax. I'm jumping in at scare level two or maybe three. I don't know. But what I do know is this Friday, Leadership is hosting their first ever pumpkin carving contest. There will be 20 contestants, each trying to carve the most creative pumpkin in 60 minutes at Flex and Lunch. Once they put down their tools, students will be able to scan a QR code to vote for their favorite one. Be looking in your email for a form to get your name in the carving lottery. If you are selected, you will sign up for Mr. Wolf's advisory so you can get a jump start on your carving in Flex. Continuing with fall events, the freshman leadership team will be hosting the annual ASB costume contest on Monday, October 31st. Registration for that event was, was sent out last week, but it's not too late to register, to walk the runway, and perhaps take home some sweet prizes. The categories are funny, group, horror, movie characters, and most original. Last year's entries were awesome, but I think the staff group costume was my favorite. Remember, I'm a freshman. What did they do? Right. They were all Marvel characters, and nearly every staff member had an awesome costume. I so hope they do something this year, too. Me too. Our next story is the first of a series of stories where we get to meet some new faces on our campus as Kylie finds out a little bit about foreign exchange students. Hi, I'm Mar, and I'm from Spain. Hi, I'm Elena, and I'm from Italy. And, and we, we are exchange students. students. This year, Colfax High School welcomed two new students from across the world to join us here at Colfax, Elena Morelli and Mar Bascon. Both are a part of the exchange program, which consists of almost a year of planning, signing papers, and testing their ability to learn, speak, and write English. Once the hard part was over, the waiting game began, where they waited for a host family to invite them to come live with their family for a year. Luckily for Colfax, two families in our area chose Elena and Mar to live with them. Since they've arrived, the differences between their homes and their exchange homes is way different than expected. Okay, the big difference is like everything here is so big. Like not only the houses, like they're so big, but the like the celebra like celebrations like Christmas, Halloween, and like Halloween, it's like now. So I'm like, wow, this is so big. Like in Spain, like only three houses of all my town, they like decorate her house and one is mine, so it's not a big thing. So uh, the difference is people. People uh, are really, really nice here in Italy. Uh, they're not like stop you in the road and say, oh my God, you look so cute today. They don't do this in Italy. And there are so many fast food here, so many fast foods. And we don't have fast foods, like just McDonald's, Burger King and KFC. That's all. Mar and Elena are two very different people with very different interests and reasons as to why they joined the exchange program. I decided to join the exchange program because all my life I have seen like all the teenage like American movies, like rom-com movies, and I was like, I need to be one of them. So I actually, I was, um, I was watching TikToks and I found a girl that she was explaining this experience. She uh, went to Texas during an exchange year. And I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Elena has been enjoying her time here thoroughly and has gained many new friends. And Mar is currently living her American dream of being a cheerleader and cheering on our varsity football team every Friday night with enthusiasm this reporter has never seen before. I had a chance to speak to Mar's host sister, Maya Pierce, who not only allowed Mar to experience new things, but also experience new things herself. The experience has been amazing. Um, I get along with Mar really well and I don't know, we're just, we're very similar and very different at the same time. She brings a whole new perspective to our house and it's just, it's really amazing having her here and I couldn't be happier, you know. I've never had a sister before so it's a new experience and I'm really enjoying it. You know, both Elena and Mar are just super, super kind and they were shy at first, but once you actually got to talk to them, you know, they'd come up to you and they'd start talking to you. On behalf of everyone at Colfax High School, we are truly excited to spend the rest of the year with you. With camera op and editor Miles Lorang, I'm Kylie Powell. That's all we have for you today, Colfax. We'll be back next week with a fall sports playoff preview. We'll check in with our new staff and break down what could be a historic season for the girls cross country team. Until then, I'm Kylie Powell for Juliana Masick. Have a great day, Colfax.